Hi, I'm Gina. And I'm Charlie. Charlie, do you know what today is? Yes, it's May 17th, National Walnut Day. That's right, Charlie. We have a certain belief that squirrels might enjoy this one. <laughs> In 1958, May 17th, officially recognized as National Walnut Day by a Senate resolution signed into law by President Eisenhower. So today we celebrate the delicious recipes of salads, desserts, and snack foods of walnuts. I love nuts, especially walnuts. Does that make me a squirrel? <laughs> No, Charlie, that just makes you smart. So, Miss Gina, I have some jokes for you. Okay. What do you call nuts on a wall? What do you call nuts on a wall? Hmm. I don't know. I give up. Oh, nuts! <laughs> what happens when you tell a walnut a good joke? That's a tricky one. Tell me, Charlie, what's the answer? It cracks me up! <laughs> Good one, Charlie. That's all I have for now. Alrighty then. We'll get right into talking about walnuts. So rounded, single-seeded stone fruits of a walnut tree. Walnuts are high-density source of nutrients particularly proteins and fatty acids. Like other tree nuts, walnuts must be processed and stored properly. Yeah, they're grown for their seeds. Yes, they are. And the Persian or English walnut and the black walnut are two most common major species of walnut. So the English walnut, it was produced in Persia. That's right, it originated in Persia. And it is commercially produced. Yeah. And the black walnut, it's native to Eastern North America. It's high in flavor. That makes it really good. However, the hard shell and the poor holing characteristics prevent it from being commercially produced. That's sad. Yes, it is. We all need a lot of nuts, don't we? Yeah, because sometimes some of us are nuts. That's right. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Okay, Charlie. Uh, let's start. Let's continue to talk about nuts. Walnuts, that is. So, the United States exports more walnuts than any other country. 99% of the nation's commercial English walnuts are produced in Sacramento and San Joaquin Valleys of California. Wow! That's amazing! It is. So... Bakers use walnuts. Yes, they use them for a lot of other reasons. Walnuts add crunch and flavor to all our baked goods, such as pies, breads, and cake. That's right. So keep walnuts on hand and add them to your muffins, pancakes, or waffles. That's right. But baked goods aren't the only recipes in the kitchen where walnuts come in in hand. They can get added to soups and other savory dishes. Walnuts are great in veggies, salads, and fruits. That's right. And finally, chopped walnuts make an excellent crust for fish, chicken, and pork. 
so don't hesitate to explore recipes when walnuts are in season. So in June of 1949, the Walnut Marketing Board created the first National Walnut. What are you doing? I'm listening. Oh, okay. They created the first National Walnut Day to promote the consumption of walnuts. Then on March 3rd, 1958, a Senate resolution introduced by William F. Nolan, he brought an official declaration from President D. Eisenhower making National Walnut Day on March, uh, May 17th, 1958. That's great history. Yes, it is. So, Charlie, how can we observe National Walnut Day. I know. Dig something and add some walnuts. Post your teachers on social media. Yes, and use hashtag National Walnut Day. Yeah. So y'all enjoy your day. Da. See ya. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mwah. See ya. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Uh, uh, sometimes you don't. <laughs>